Marco here, and uh, it's been a while since I've done some uh, liquids. So uh, we're going to be doing Queen Slab today by the extremely friendly and very, very lovely uh, Miss Eloisa Jane. And uh, there are a few other names on the bottles, uh, Salve and Regina, and uh, Eloisa Jane's name is uh, right in the center. So these uh, 20 ml bottles come in this little, like, um, you know, sort of like a five ponds packaging. This is what it looks like. So, pretty, you know, pretty swanky uh, design. And I gotta say, most of these actually have very awesome flavors. I've given a few of them a spin. You're gonna notice some of these are running almost empty. So, I'm gonna give them a few pulls, talk about the uh, the flavor and uh, the pricing and all that jazz. is gonna be in the uh, the video description below. So you're gonna want to check that out. So I'm gonna be using a few uh, mods and atomizers for this uh, for this particular video. We are going to start this off with uh, French cream. This is uh, all these liquids are in six milligrams, so I'm just going to soak my cotton wicks up and uh, give it a few hits. Now, again, I just need you all to bear in mind that this will not be a vapor video, so please don't expect me to uh, show off some clouds and stuff like that. This is going to be more on, you know, what these stuff tastes like and uh, just to give the consumers, you guys, uh, a bit of an idea what you're getting into when you purchase a bottle of these. So this is uh, French cream. Very, very uh, milky scent to it, so let's give it a shot. All right, yeah, um, the sweetness is definitely there. Uh, it's not an overpowering sweetness, but the milk concentrates, the the condensed milk concentrates are really prominent in this stuff. Awesome sweetness level. I there, There's a very faint hint of French vanilla, but mostly it's, it's that milky quality to it. I like it because it tastes uh, very pastry dessert-like. So, uh, yeah, that's French cream. It goes pretty well with uh, with the other one that we're about to do, which is Royal Vanilla. You're going to see I'm about halfway through the bottle. Since the uh, the tastes complement one another, I'm just going to use the same uh, same RDA for it. While I'm at it, I wanted to give a huge thanks to Loiza and to my buddy Jerem, who is actually the uh, the distributor of these uh, these liquids, this particular line here in the south, particularly in the Las Piñas area. So, Jeremy and Loisa, if you're seeing this, thank you very much. And uh, this is actually my personal favorite. You're probably going to notice that. It's uh, halfway down. Yeah, there's a bit of coolness to it. Uh, the original uh, French vanilla, back when Queen Slab was still in um, little squeezy bottles, these were um, the, the the French vanilla blend was sort of like mentholated vanilla, but it's not the menthol that uh, that really like blows up in your face. This is more of like um, a, a coolness going down and a slight tingle of cold in your mouth. The vanilla concentrate's very very prominent. It's it's. Um, almost overpowering but the menthol is a nice kicker to it good uh, good balance in between so if you're if you're like a pastry or vanilla junkie then French cream or royal vanilla these are really gonna float your boat now we're gonna be doing some fruity ones next so I'm gonna have to switch atomizers out try this stuff up yeah uh, I don't exactly have a flavor atomizer on it well I don't have the flavor cap on but uh, this will suffice for now so let's just uh, soak this up. We're going to be doing this one called Berry Lush. This actually tastes really awesome. The only problem I have with it is that it being colored sort of gunks my coils up a bit. So I wanted to save it for last, but we might as well pop it in. Oh yeah, I, I see myself changing cotton pretty quick. Yeah, let's uh, take care of this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change my wicks out later on, but let's see.
yeah, the color probably tells you enough about it. It's red. So very, very powerful strawberry concentrates used in this. Yeah, it's probably the dominant flavor in it. There may be other berries. But I'm not tasting much of it because of the, uh, the strawberry prominence on it. Uh, just be mindful when using it. it. It does tend to gunk up quite a bit. Although it is a 50-50 PG VG juice, the, the coloring in it, uh, I don't know if this is artificial or if the concentrates were really red, but uh, yeah, very, very gunky stuff if you vape it for uh, a prolonged period of time. I'm going to move on to the next one, which I've also almost drained because I love chasing clouds on this thing. It's called Winter Posh. Now, Winter Posh is, is mostly watermelon and um, you know, a slight hint of strawberry in it too, but it's a very nice minty watermelon uh, liquid. I'm going to give it a few pulls because I love this shit. Yeah very powerful watermelon taste. Um, it has a bit of spearmint or peppermint, I'm not quite sure, but there is a minty quality to it. I'm liking how it goes down, that's why I use it mainly for cloud chasing, but the flavor is definitely, yeah, it's definitely something that works with you. I mean, it's not a nauseating kind of watermelon. Typically, watermelon blends, it's, it's either you love them or you hate them, absolutely. So this is one of those that's uh, probably more specific to your taste. I mean, um, it's either you're going to love it or you're going to throw it out the window. But personally, it's, uh, well, this is evidence enough. I'm not even going to say anything. That's evidence enough. So, second French, uh, I'm sorry, to, uh, to Royal Vanilla. That's probably uh, my go-to for this entire lineup. Most of these are all, like, fruity stuff. So, let's move on. Switch atomizers again. Yeah. So this one I have built a bit differently. I have it on a single coil, so I don't expect huge clouds from this. I'm going to move on to uh, Pommy Deluxe. This is the, uh, the pomegranate offering that Loisus line has. Fragrant stuff. I have this sitting in a Genesis tank, actually. I find that fruity flavors, particularly the cooler ones, taste amazing in, um, in Genesis atomizers if you build them properly. So let's do some Pommy Deluxe. This stuff, uh, gotta admit, I don't like it so much on a dripper, but on a Genesis tank, this is just amazing stuff. Crank the voltage up a bit. So yeah, this is in single coil, single air hole. Yeah, uh, the pomegranate uh, taste is pretty solid in this one. It has almost like a bubblegum-like quality to it. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's just uh, an effect of the pomegranate. I mean, uh, it wasn't intended to taste like bubblegum, but it does. Uh, I happen to be a fan of bubblegum juices, but uh, particularly with pomegranate, this stuff is uh, particularly for the, uh, you know, the sweet tooth in you. I wouldn't vape it all day because it does tend to get a bit nauseating, but that's what the other flavors are for. Typically, what I do to wash it out is very lush, awesome stuff. So that's, uh, that's pretty much how I balance it out. Uh, particularly Palmy Deluxe, th this one has a really massive throat hit for 6MG. I mean, not just on single coil, even on dual coil setups. Uh, the 6MG on the Palmy Deluxe is, is, is just something else. I mean, if I were to vape this in my usual 12, I'd probably not be able to vape it uh, with long hits, I'd probably have to do mouth to lungs on it. Now let's move on to a uh, sour palace. Now this is pineapple stuff. Yeah, very prominent, very prominent pineapple. Let me just burn this pomegranate off. Yeah, typically, uh, I prefer to have one atomizer for every flavor, but the rest are tanks. And right now, I haven't cleaned my tanks out, so we got to make do with the drippers that we have built. The others are sitting in my room with. Uh, <laughs> coils that need to be cleaned out. Let's uh, get Sour Palace out of the way. Now, Sour Palace also is one of the uh, the lines that tastes amazing on a Genesis tank. Um, the, I find fruity concentrates to be best 
uh, best fake on on mesh wicks. But uh, here goes on Tripper. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pineapple, I gotta say that right off the bat. Uh, I don't like pineapple juice, I don't like pineapple drinks, I don't like, um, but this is actually something that you could, um, you know, you could vape all day if you were a fan of pineapple. I, I mean, what I don't like about juice reviews is I have to be very, very objective, but at the same time, I can't say that I like them all because I'm not a big fan of pineapple. I'm not saying it's awful, I'm just saying that I'm not a fan of pineapple. But uh, very legit pineapple taste. Not too sweet, not overpoweringly sour. Uh, just like uh, a very solid in between um, ripe, ripe pineapple. It, it's not the kind that's going to give you like a tingle on the side of your tongue. But that's, uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Now, King Guava, this I haven't tried. It smells, smells funny. Oh, this is going to be a real killer because I haven't tried this stuff, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. It smells funny. I'm not a big fan of guava. Ooh, yeah, it does smell funny. It smells like it's going to live in my atomizer. By funny, I don't mean bad. I just want to, you know, point that out. Okay, this is going to be a first for me, so let's give it a shot. Screw the cap back on and take a few hits. So oh, this could actually grow on me. Okay. Yeah, I think I pretty figured it out. Uh, I honestly do not like guava to the point that I have never tried the actual fruit. I'm getting like um, a jackfruit taste in my mouth. Um, can't quite put my finger on it, but it has that candy quality to it. I mean, I remember there was some, uh, the local term for it, the Philippine term being guyabano. Uh, I think they call it soursop outside. I mean, like uh, internationally, that's what it's known as. That's what this tastes like. Now, uh, that fruit in particular is an acquired taste, and I gotta say the same about the liquid. I'm not saying it's awful, I'm just saying I'm not a fan. I mean, um, yeah, it has that nice sour soft taste to it. It's almost like sipping a bottle of juice or something like that. Uh, the smell is definitely, um, you know, yeah, definitely something that you could grow to love. I'm just not gonna vape this all day. I mean, that that's me. Again, that's me. What? I don't like, you may like, and vice versa. I mean, it, 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 what, when it comes to liquids, it's all very, very subjective. Uh, it's very hard for me to remain objective with it, with it, but I gotta say, hands down, these two are my, my absolute favorites. Um, French cream and royal vanilla. These are just the tits. These are awesome. Um, the, the pricing and all that I'm gonna put in the, uh, the description. And uh, again, I wanted to give a huge, huge... Uh, Thank you and a shout out to Eloisa and to Jerem who were extremely kind. Jerem actually uh, personally delivered these uh, here here to, to our house, and uh, I really appreciate that. So thank you very much for sending these over. I'm probably gonna pick up some more French cream when I see him again. Uh, shit, I gotta finish this thing up, uh, put it in the tank or something. But uh, awesome stuff. I love the packaging. The bottles are absolutely reusable. You know, I could just get a big bottle, fill these up, and carry these around. These are you know awesome stuff. Really girly design in keeping with the uh, the personality of the uh, the juicer. If you've met Eloisa in person, she really dresses up. So uh, this is very much in keeping with her personality, I would assume. Um, I like the packaging. Really, really cool stuff. So anyway, uh, I've been prattling on for almost 15 minutes now, and for liquid, that's pretty long. But uh, Seven Flavors right now, they're working on a tobacco one, which is coming out very soon. Hopefully, I'm going to have a video out for it, too. But uh, for now, that's about it, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. So I'm going to catch you all soon. See you all day part, all right? Cheers.